And I'll tell you, this blush is beautiful. Beautiful. Usually, I don't post. Usually, I don't post, but I want the world to know. to the channel be lady tv as you can see we got our beads on you see the materials okay so i got some new makeup products and i wanted to you know play with them today and this is the look that i came out with it's cute right i know right yeah so if you're interested in seeing the products that i used to get this beat down then you know keep watching Okay, so in my last video where I talked about the Wind Beauty, you should definitely go, go check that out. Um, I said I have been using the Milk Makeup Eclipse Primer and I'm still using it. Okay, so the next thing I have is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is not a new product. This is definitely something that's new to me, but I've been wanting to try it, um, especially since my hair is more orange now. <laughs> um, so I got the color Ginger Snap, which is an auburn color, and it comes with a pencil on one end. like that and the pin it looks like that so let's see I'm gonna go in with the marker side. Give hair strokes. Okay, brows are done. I like it. Um, so lately I have been doing like a concealer first method for my base. Um, today I'm going to be using the Wind Beauty. Uh, what is this called? Nothing to See Concealer in 300 Shift. So I'm going to do that right here. Yeah, I was really impressed with the concealer. I'm not gonna lie. I really like it. It's creamy. It lasts all day. All day. It did his thing. So I'm gonna let that sit and then I'm gonna go into my foundation. So in my haul, I talked about how I got this Danessa Myrick CME Skin Foundation in 18G. Um, that does not have a, the, the, the tubing. I don't I don't know what to call it. So I've just kind of been I don't know, squeezing it out. Probably should shake it first. Let's shake it. So I got that much. I don't I don't know. It's kind of my gripe with foundations that aren't in a. They don't have a pump, cause how do I know? Whoa, whoa, 
I'm just gonna attribute it to the lighting. Once I'm done, I'll go to, oh, this is giving full coverage. Whoa. Okay. No, I can say that this one is definitely looking, definitely looking better in person versus on camera. We gonna see it through, okay? We got to see it through, my boy. I've been using this Sephora foundation brush to blend the concealer because the actual concealer brush is too small for me in my liking, personally. But look at how beautifully the concealer blends out and just how good of a job but this brush does and I blend in the concealer like. okay so I do Honestly, I do want the under eye to be a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna go in with my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Caramel. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and do a soft set with the Fenty Invisimat. So nothing moves around. You know, I love to set with a press powder first. Okay. Now that that is done, I'm going to go in with blush. I don't have any new blushes, so I'm going to use the same old thing. Okay, so since I have been back home, I have found some of my old makeup. And one of those things is this NARS blush. And Orgasm X, y'all. And I'll tell you, this blush is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So, but I'm gonna go in with the LYS blush first in Inspire. I take a sponge to just blend lightly around the edges. And we're gonna bake. I think I was gonna use my Fenty powder and honey. I'm gonna use my one size ultra blur, ultra pink, whatever. The one size powder in pink, okay. Ooh, 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 another new thing I got. I got the Juvia's Place um, Ready Set Sealed Setting Spray. So I want, I need to get this makeup off my hand before I make a mess. That is what it looks like. Hard plastic bottle, cute little top. That 
is what the nozzle looks like. Make it a nice fine mist. I forgot to do my cream bronzer. That's okay, we'll go back to that. Um, today I'm gonna use the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer in the shade Rich. Too Faced Better Than Chocolate. Um, so I think I'm going to start with a nice buns, this shade right here, as an all over lid color first. Now, I think I'm going to do buttercream on the lid. All right, I'm gonna go in with Cake My Day. On the outer, like this middle part right here. This is why I took a step back from eyeshadow. It's just a lot of back and forth. Lots and lots of back and Um, underneath the lash, I'm going to do lick the bowl and nice buns. This one will be nice. Start with that. Pitch into my girl. Fenty mascara on the bottom. Okay, so I also got some individual nations. Um, I got the Deep Sea Curl Lash Lift in medium and long. I got the glue and the um, tweezers. So um, I'll just try a few of them. See how it goes. Okay, so my camera overheated, so I didn't need to do the lashes. So I just 
put on some regular lashes. I'll save that video for another time. Um, so now I'm just going to go back in with this palette. Um, I think I'm going to do Ooey Gooey. That's an inner corner highlight. a little bit of bronzer I know I'm using my LYS bronzer see this I messed that up but it's okay it's gonna be alright now for blush <laughs> I'm going in with the NARS Orgasm X blush. Look at that. It's so beautiful. And put that on top. I can't say NARS, they're blushes. When they started, you know, realizing that. Which is the craziest thing because NARS has like their complexion, their foundations and concealers that have all the shades. But then the only ones that have one bronzer, the Laguna bronzer. They won't have that one orgasm blush. Okay. So that was just always odd to me that they were always so inclusive and so extensive in their foundations and concealers. Like they had lip colors that were for everybody. But for some reason, when it came to blushes and bronzers, they just dropped the ball. But they have redeemed themselves. Okay. Mm, beautiful. Um, okay, for a lip. I don't have any new lip products. I just have this Fenty Fuchsia Flex, but I don't. I'm not really feeling that today. Let's see, I got this new lip butter gloss situation from this brand called LYTYS. Ooh, and toast. I got an idea. Let's see. I have the ABH lip liner in malt. And the Fenty Matte as well, and up to no good. Y'all know which is unfortunately it's going to be that in the center. And then this gloss. So this is the final look, you guys. It's gonna be fast. No. I literally have no complaints. Okay. Look at the shadow, like. <laughs> love it thank you guys for hanging out with me today and watching me play in some makeup um try out some new products let me know if you tried anything let me know if there's anything you want me to try okay and yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe 
Tell a friend and tell a friend, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.